Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this video tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you how to resize, resize even, um, many images at the same time uh, to save you time. Uh, <laughs> God, I'm saying that word a lot. Uh, save you time when coming to uh, use it in a Flash document, Dreamweaver, making a website basically. And uh, for this I'm going to use some actions and uh, some automation from Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an image into my uh, document. So where is it? I'm going to go to this folder here. I've already pre kind of program, I uh, pre um, spaced out everything in my folders so I can access them easily. You might want to do the same. And we're going to use the actions menu. I'll ideally this for you so we can start again. Um, what we're basically going to do is resize this and make an action out of it. So we're going to go to this, create a new action, and we're going to call this, uh, oh no we don't want to do it in there, make a new group first, and we'll call this um, resize. I can't type, as you may see, but uh, oh well, and we're going to call this one wide because I'm going to use the wider images and images that are square to uh, do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image, image size and take this mahusive uh, resolution and picture down to screen resolution and HD format and we're going to press OK and it's taking our image size right down but um, I want to be uniform in my gallery, make it easier for myself, and I'm going to basically, um, what am I doing? I'm going to uh, resize the image once more and change this width to a thousand pixels. I know it's only a 26 pixel difference, but um, it kind of helps when I'm I'm using uh, round numbers and if I'm going to use the same number ever, over and over again. Uh, yeah, it definitely saves time. And I'm playing, going to now press uh, stop. And that's all we wanted this image for. I'm going to press no. And we're going to start this again. So we're going to go to file. Now that, okay, sorry. Now that we have this, we're going to go to file, automate, batch. And um, we're going to use the set resize. And the action wide. Right, we're going to choose our subfolders, and I already have a subfolder of wide um, selected. If you want to go to documents, um, that kind of stuff, you know, you can. And uh, press OK. And my output folder here is going to be resized wide, and that's just going to help me along my help me along my way quite easily. So now I'm going to go to uh, this and our extension. So I'm going to name this IMG. So that's the first thing it's going to rename the document to. I selected a one digit serial number. So that's going to go um, one to nine. Um, actually I may, I may as well use a two. Actually how many pictures do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's fine. I can use a one digit serial number here because it's going to go one to nine. And my extension is just going to be extension. And it's going to do it as a GIF file. Um, if you're using Mac, probably click that. Or if you're using Unix, Linux. Is that Linux? It looks like Linux. I don't know. I'm not a operator whiz. Anyway, um, just press OK, and you're going to see it do it before your eyes. If my computer weren't so slow, it would be a lot quicker. Yep. Just waiting for this to go. Uh, ah, it's done. So. Now we can we can see our images. We're going to go to uh, where's our folder, and all our images have been resized. This isn't a PSD document, just because uh, I haven't had time to change it yet. 
Why am I going to do this? So I think I may as well file. Hmm. Save as JPEG. Where is it? Does that look right? Yeah. Maximum. Alrighty. So now I've got this uh, image in here. And I've got every image I want resized and named correctly. This is just going to help me when I'm going to Dreamweaver and uh, Flash. So, now that that's done, we can do exactly the same thing, but for any image that is tall. And um, I'm going to use a, a thousand by a thousand. Uh, yeah, that's going to be my uh, web gallery space, roughly. So I'm going to go to, where's it? Eight one. You can see how uh, good I am at naming my pictures. But this one, I'm just going to go to a uh, create a new set. Yeah, why not? And tall. And now this means uh, when I have to do this again, it's going to be very quick and easy. I'm going to do to image, image size. Take that down first. It is important to take resolution down first makes it um, a lot easier afterwards and change that to a sub thousand that's okay so yeah this is my image I think that looks quite creepy I'm quite proud of that image and we're going to go to uh, our save as resize wide but we want to make a new document here surely new folder even resize uh, we're going to new, name this the IMG9. I think my yeah, it's okay. And uh, stop. That last bit can get binned actually. Don't just save it every time. And uh, this is exactly what's uh, how you're going to do it. It's very quick, very easy. And if I were to go to file, automate batch. I now have the option for wide and tall and do exactly what you did last time very simple very easy um, this is going to be part of a how to design your website kind of uh, tutorials and um, yeah if you liked it thumbs it up if it was useful you know uh, leave a comment if you've got any queries questions I'll try to answer them as fast as I can and uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see how to how I go about making my gallery, making uh, rollovers, maybe using Photoshop to make buttons, uh, fireworks even, as well, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, rate, comment and subscribe. The usual begging routine.